I want to know from you guys, when's, when's the last time you have done something really scummy to somebody that you was interested in, right? Whether it's the opposite sex or the same sex. When's the last time you did someone really dirty? This is an article that I randomly saw on the Daily Mail. Liam Payne, who is an ex-member of One Direction, you know that band, formerly uh, with Harry Styles, shows off new girlfriend Alina Mal Mal Maula as couple make their first public appearance in the UK, weeks after One Direction star broke off engagement to heartbroken model Maya Henry. I'm not going to read the entire article, but essentially, from what I can understand, this guy, who used to be in One Direction, is now dating this little hottie. But the reason why this is hilarious, right, <laughs> is that he was engaged to this lady, and they were engaged, I think, twice or something, and then they got back together again. And she found out through Instagram that, sh that they were not engaged anymore because the lady that's above posted this picture of, of her getting hugged by Liam. And all the fans kept tagging this girl, thinking it was her in the picture. Like, oh my God, they're so cute together. And she was like, guys, it's not me. Please stop tagging me in the picture. <laughs> so I want to know, how dirty have you ever done somebody? How dirty have you done someone? I've not done someone this dirty because I guess I don't look like this. So you don't have the ability to, you know, do people dirty when you don't have the ability to get, you know, most women to, you know, slob on your knob. But what's the dirtiest thing that you've done to somebody? The dirtiest thing I think I've done to somebody was back in the day, a very long time ago. I must have been like 17 or 16. I was, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but back in the day in, in the UK, we had this thing called Black Chat. And it was like this online... Um, it was yeah, it was a, it was a web based, it was a browser chat thing where you got had these different rooms with what people thought were all black people, but it was definitely everyone from around the world, probably trolls. And essentially, you could um talk to people in this chat room, and you could basically have your little private chats with people, and maybe you know end up you know uh, getting their their what was it their MSN thing to then chat to them privately, and I end up getting chatting to one girl, and then. You know, I ended up finding out she's from London and all that sort of stuff. We were close together. I think she might live in South. We ended up m arranging a date to go meet each other. And legitimately, I saw in my life, right, this girl on the desktop client, on her avatar, and again, I should have known it, but this was before, this was before Catfish's show. This is before even the Catfish term was even popularized. I didn't even know what Catfish even meant. Um, On her avatar of her image on the, on the chat thing, she looked like a dark-skinned version of Christina Millian. That's what she looked like. A dark-skinned version of Christina Millian, right? Dark-skinned version of it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm lucked out. I'm going to meet this girl, a little cute, you know, short baddie. Looks like Christina Millian. Like, it's going to be amazing. We end up meeting at the cinema, right? And end up, you know, oh, let's meet at the cinema. And I, don't, and I didn't do this purposely, but wherever we, where we went to go meet at the station... There was like a McDonald's or a Burger King near the station that kind of overlooked where the station was. So I purposely waited in there so I could see her coming out so I could come meet her when she came down. She comes out of the station and I'm like, oh, where are you? She's like, oh, I'm, I'm here. Text me, where? I can't see you because I'm looking for the dark skin version of Christina Millian. Then I see who it is. I see her walking and I'm like, no way. She looked nothing like a dark skin Christina Millian. She looked completely different incredibly not to my taste so i just left <laughs> i had a knock i just turned it off and just left and at the time i felt so bad so bad but looking back it's probably for the best because nothing was ever going to happen anyway because i wasn't interested for the moment i saw her come out of the station but i just left that's the only scummy thing that i'd done and I have not really been given the opportunity to do anything else scummier because, you know, I don't have the ability that like Liam Payne does to pull all these baddies. But I remember leaving and just thinking, damn, man, she walked all this way. She got dressed up, put her makeup on and whatnot, wanted to come and hang out. And I just ducked out. Just left. Just left. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, big up Liam Payne, innit? Imagine breaking... Only, only celebrities can do this to people, innit, right? Only celebrities can do this to people. Celebrities can just, you've got a girlfriend, sorry, you've got a fiancé, not a girlfriend. You've got a fiancé, this one here, who's pretty good looking herself, right? What's her name? Her name is Maya. You've got this lady called Maya, 
He might have a thing for Hispanic ladies, it looks like. And then all of a sudden you get bored of Maya. You're like, fuck this. You jump onto this lady and you just announce her on Instagram without even telling your... Because us normal guys, we have to text our partners. We have to organize a, a meetup. We have to... Might, I heard, I've heard of some of my friends doing the absolute madness. Some of my friends will take their partner out for dinner and then tell them that they're going to break up with them. It's like, how are you going to take someone out for food and then tell them you're going to break up with them? That's not, that's not the best way to enjoy a meal, do you know what I mean? But we have to take them out for dinner. We have to call them. We have to text them. We have to write them a letter. We might have to go to their parents' house and break. We have to do something. We have to confront the news. But when you're a celebrity, you can just announce it like this on Instagram stories. <laughs> and then just like go on holiday with them. The next thing he does is go on holiday. <laughs> Absolute scumbag, isn't it? Absolute scumbag, mate. Look at that. He just like turned up with a new girl on Instagram. Absolutely amazing, man. But anyway. Big up, yeah, exactly. Inca, Inca coming to my hotel room. <laughs> oh, honestly, big up Liam Payne, man. Big up Liam Payne, absolute psychopath, man. Big up Liam Payne. Anyway, quickly, you know, we move on to all the stuff I spoke about in the subject line. Thank you for bearing with me.